All right, so I got my whole design ready to go, ready to be colored. We're going to use colored pencils. You can use as many colors as you'd like, but you need to have at least two colors. And for every color that you have, you need to have at least, well, only three um, different shades of that color. So for yellow, I have this kind of light yellow orange, this medium yellow orange, and then this dark uh, orange. So that's what you need. So if you want to do all the colors of the rainbow, you're going to have a whole bunch of colored pencils. If you just do two, you'll have six colored pencils like this. If I chose pink and orange to do for the whole thing. Okay. So that is something to keep in mind. Also, you can do a pattern. You don't have to do a pattern. I have one going here, but it could also be completely random. That is up to you. So, I have my blues, and I'm going to skip this for now and start coloring over here so that I can show you guys what to do in this big shape. So, we're going to start with the lightest tint of the color that we are using. And I'm going to lightly start coloring that whole shape. I am not pressing down hard at all. And I get even less and less pressure the closer I get to the middle because I want to leave that middle very bright. Part of it is actually going to be left white. And that is what's going to make it look like this is 3D and that it's popping out at us. Okay. See how I left the middle white there? That's what you want. Now I'm going to use the next darkest and I'm doing the same exact thing. I'm using a little bit more pressure on the outside edges here, but then using less and less pressure as I move closer to the center. And I'm actually gonna stop halfway in this area here where I colored with the lightest blue. I'm stopping halfway there. Same thing on the other side. Press a little bit harder on the edges and then lighter as we move closer to the center, stopping halfway in this area where I did the light blue. Now I have my darkest blue doing the same thing, using a little bit more pressure on the edges less and less as I move to the center and stopping halfway in this area where I did the medium blue. And that's what gives it that look, that gradient look, and I'm blending my colors together. And it makes it feel more 3D. And one tip that I like to do at the end is just kind of take the lightest color and go over everything again just to blend it a little bit more. Okay, so that is how we are going to color. I think I covered everything. So if you want to um, ask me any questions, please message me on Canvas. I will get back to you as soon as possible, but have fun with this, you guys, and I'll see you when I get back. Bye.